Oxy, uh, right here. Hello. Hello. Uh, welcome to your last media day with us. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so I know a lot's been made uh, of, of this being your last fight and everything, but how has fight week been for you so far, leading up to the, your last, your 50th and last fight? Uh, I've been really excited to be here, uh, really looking forward to this trip. I always enjoy fight week, um, and I'm really excited to get a media day. I feel special, and I'm really trying not to focus on the fact it's my last one because I feel kind of pressure when I think of it that way. Um, I think my friends and coaches are, and fans and media members are really trying to uh, ask me about my career and I feel really good about that. And um, I just really want to go into the fight with a, a positive attitude and just feeling excited and trying to do what I've learned to do. and. Like, I'm going off on a tangent now, but like all this time I've always focused on, I want to be stronger, I want to be stronger, I want to be stronger. Like, that's my martial arts spirit. So now, after this fight, I really want to be able to say, I got stronger. Like, look at what I've done. So that's kind of my feelings going into this fight week. I was going to ask, I guess it reminds me of like when Derek Jeter and Kobe retired, they said they kind of regretted announcing it was their last season because after that, they kept every press conference that's what was focused on. Do you maybe regret bringing it up? So because that now everyone's going to bring it up to you and talk about it. In the past, when I wondered about how it would be, I didn't want to think about retirement. But now I think I'm absolutely ready, so I don't mind talking about it. I'm sure you saw the article that came out of all the, the female fighters talking about your career in general. So what do you make, like, it's one thing for the fans and the media to, to, to bring up your career, but you're also seeing fellow fighters, even the current UFC Bantamweight champion, is saying, like, there is never going to be someone like Roxy moving forward now. That article really touched me. I'm really grateful for the author who wrote that um, and for the people who interviewed and said those things. That was so cool. I'm going to totally print that out and keep it forever. Um, I didn't know a couple things. Like, I didn't know what Marluce thought about us. And um, I totally forgot that I had gone up to Tara in the fight and said, you better not be going easy on me. Like, I don't remember that, but that's totally something I would have done. Um, <laughs> so it was really cool, yeah, to get credit from them and to... Like, as I said, it, it reminded me, like I'm always really hard on myself for, lo for my losses because I always try so hard and put my heart into it. So I, I tell myself like, oh, well, I, I didn't win these fights I wanted to win, but I did my best. But then reading that article, it made me feel like, no, that was awesome, those things that you did. So it kind of, it was a nice, a nice thing. Well, the author, Sean, is, is watching the live stream right now too. Oh. Thank you so much. I'm so touched by that article. You're awesome. And uh, speaking of Casey, who you're fighting on Saturday, we, she, she was in her earlier. She's saying she's just treating this like a different fight. She respects what you've done, but I think her phrase was uh, in a previous in interview that so this isn't a passing of the torch. This is a nail in the coffin. So uh, what do you make of those comments? Ooh, that's, that's pretty, uh, pretty sassy. I like it. Oh, that's exactly what she should be thinking, you know? She shouldn't care about me or my career or anything. She should just be training to fight me. And uh, I really respect her. She's a, she seems like a very tough opponent. I always enjoyed watching her fights up until now. I, I thought, man, she has like a similar style. Like she just busts forward and tries to grab him and take him down and pound him out and choke him or whatever. Like, that's cool. So I'm excited to fight such a, a strong up-and-comer, bring it on. She also said on Monday in the MMA hour that she's kind of looking forward to getting past this because she trains with one of your friends and that part is a little stressful for, not that you're training secrets, but just like the thought of it in the back of her mind. Uh, very, very similar, actually. Um, yeah, one of my friends, several of my friends train at the same gym and then like one of uh, our mutual coaches is kind of stuck in the middle now, so that's been super awkward. So in that way, I'm also excited for this fight camp to be finished and this fight to end. And then maybe we'll get to train together someday. Is there any hints on the final uh, cosplay for the ceremonials? I know you like to keep them secret. But. Um, let's say, does anybody know My Hero Academia? Uh-huh. Who is the, le the head hero who okay. ends up retiring? OK, I don't want to give it away from you. It's OK. Cool. Um, final one for me. Uh, I know last your last official wins. You did the Scout Regiment salute. Uh, have mm -hmm. you, are you caught up now to the final, the most recent episode? Yes. What do you think? Oh man, that's such a screwed up series. Like, oh. but it has a lot of social commentary. Um, like, just watching it before I came out here, I was like, oh my God, they're really doing this. Like, I don't even know what's gonna happen. 
did I you, would not want to be alive in that world. Did you envision that that show would take take the path it's taking now after the No, film? not at all. And I like your shirt, by the way, sir. Roxanne over here. Um, you talked about how when you had always thought about retirement, it wasn't something that was comfortable for you, but you kind of came to the realization that it was time. What was it? I mean, was there something that you found, uh, you know, kind of that you focused on is like the reason specifically? There were multiple reasons, which is why I feel comfortable making this decision. Um, one was that, like, I feel like I'm, I used to wake up at 4 a.m., like, full of energy, like, let's eat breakfast, let's go for a jog, let's do push-ups, and now I'm waking up at 6, like, oh, I don't really want to go have Mortal Kombat at, like, 10 a.m. now. Like, my body just doesn't feel like it. Um, I don't, I really want to focus more on jujitsu. I keep feeling that urge rather than, like, let's punch each other. Also, um, I feel like in training after a hard sparring session, um, I started getting headaches. And I don't want to go down that path of like brain trauma. Um, I think I've been lucky to have like 49 fights and not have brain trauma. Um, so I started wearing headgear and that problem got better. But it sucks to train with headgear because people grab it and you're like, I'm getting choked by the, the like headgear strap around my neck. Um, so it's like not as fun anymore as it used to be. So I want to be able to give 100% to my fight camps. Um, and I feel like that I might not be able to moving forward. So I feel like now's a good time to change my, my life. Yeah, for sure. And I know, uh, you know people ask you about pressure, always you pressure your retirement fight, but is there any comfort like reading the article that Jose talked about, like regardless of what happens in this fight, do you feel a sense of comfort? Like, you know, win or lose, I've accomplished so much and I've had a successful career. Yes, exactly. That's, that's a, good, uh, a good point. I do feel proud of myself. Yeah, I've done a lot. So nothing can take away from what I've actually done. Hi, Roxanne, over here. Uh, going off that attack on time question, I want to ask you a question of morality. Uh, whose side would you be on in that final season, Zeke's or Aaron's? Oh, man. Um, I still don't. I feel like I don't know if Aaron's telling the truth because he li keeps lying to the audience. You like usually the audience is in on the plot, but in this case, like we don't know who's lying and who's telling the truth. But I would say I don't know. Like I almost can't believe that Aaron wants to murder. Have anyone. you have you read the mangas? Because that's all done. Yeah, I have not. Oh, oh have you? Yeah. Ooh. So I'm gonna say. Um, Aaron's side. I'm gonna be on Aaron's side. Like, let's be strong, let's fight. Like, actually, funny, I'm branching off here. My dad keeps sending me history magazines to read and articles and stuff. He's like, history repeats itself, pay attention. And I used to be like, dad, whatever, but now at my age, I'm like, holy crap. So just, it has such a good social commentary that I can totally see, like, how he's making a, the author is making a comment about war and our civilization, and we just, we just have to fight for our lives, basically, um, in this day and age as well, even in our society. Um, in the early stages of your career, you spent a lot of time in Japan, living there, and you know those, the uh, the beginning of your career, a big part of it took place there. Now that you're heading into your final fight, do you find yourself thinking back to those days when you lived in Japan? I do. I'm enjoying reminiscing about those days. And I had some media interviews with Japanese folks yesterday, and it was so cool because, like, Gon Kaktogi, like, he reminded me of the things that I've done and the team, Keishukai, that I used to belong to. And I love those days. Those are awesome days. And um, the teammates, like, I got to talk to Mizugaki-san, and we used to train together, and, like, all these other people. It was really cool to reminisce about that. Hey, Roxy. Um, is there any part of fighting, you know, whether it be a fight week, the preparation, the thrill of victory, have you given thought of what part of that you're going to miss the most? Weigh-ins. <laughs> I love weigh-ins. Like, I don't mind cutting weight so much because I really enjoy eating lunch with my friends together. Like, I have a group of friends, um, shout out to Candy, um, who always comes and, like, hangs out with me, and then I get to do my my um, cosplay, which I really enjoy. I get so nervous before that. I like start sweating and like get really like the jitters a little bit before that because I really want to do a cool performance and then I enjoy watching it on video afterwards. So, Wayne's. Hey, um, 
not to take your mind off the fight, but what are some of your plans post retirement? Like, I know that you love teaching kids jujitsu. Is that something that um, you'll be do taking more seriously now? Um, I have some ideas. Nothing's set yet. Um, I cannot reveal my ho hopeful plans yet. Um, I have one, and I also hope to teach jujitsu in addition to that. I really love teaching kids. And I love writing as well. Like I'm, I'm on, I'm writing my second autobiography, the second stage because I wrote a first one. This is my second one, so I want to finish that, finish getting it edited, and then publish it. When do you expect to have that complete? Uh, I'm almost finished writing it, so now I need my friends and people I'm hiring to help me finish editing it. So hopefully, I'll finish it in the next few months, and then maybe by the end of the year, publish it. So stay tuned. Thank you.